Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over exactly how to add forms and contact information amongst a few other little extras that we're going to give to you today. So I'm going to tell you exactly how to use them, what they're used for, and how to be that professional in Wix.com. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so in case you haven't already, do subscribe and we will be able to give you extra videos that you won't miss and some awesome tips and tricks to make you that professional in Wix website builder. Going over to the Add Features button on the left hand side, we'll just give a simple click and you can come down and you'll see Contact and Forms. Now of course that is exactly what it says is to contact or to create a form or to fill out a form. So once you see uh, under Forms you have Contacts, Payments, Multi-Steps, Donations, Job Applications, Feedback, Health, Contest, Price Quotes, Subscriptions or Subscribe, Maps, Full Width Maps, and of course you have chat buttons like Line or the Wix chat button as well, which will go to your email. Alright, so all of these are exactly what they say. Uh, going to the Contact button. If you remember from our previous videos, much as you hear me repeat over and over again, uh, our previous videos, uh, all of these are pretty much the same. Contact is exactly telling you, so you'll just drag and drop to where you want it. Maybe you don't want it there, you can kind of go down, and you can just let go, and it comes to the form. So I am going to plant it here. Of course, if you don't like it, you can move it later in time, just by clicking. It highlights everything and you can drag and drop just as you see me doing now. All right, so this is the contact form, just the contact. So here, as you see the text fields, right? remember these little boxes, these strips here, that's the same if you want to create them from scratch. So we have, let's go and highlight the whole Wix forms. Now you see the form settings. Clicking on form settings, you'll have a little dashboard that will come up you have main, and you can collect any type of info for your visitors, view and manage submissions in a table on your dashboard, right? Uh, so we're going to settings. You can change the name. Contact. What is the name of this form? Contact. You can say anything that you want. You can say hit me up if you would. Hit me up. Right. Uh, so a submit message. So only you will see the name of this submission here. Uh, and the form settings, email notifications, get notified for each submission. You can do the site team or the other emails, uh, or you can do your own special uh, email that you have. So this goes directly to mine. Uh, and there you go. Now we're going to go back. Submissions table, view all submissions in one place. So if you don't want to do that, you can actually see the view submissions table. Let's go here first. All right. Give it just a moment to load and it takes you straight to your dashboard. Now, once you do this, you see form submissions, contacts, automations, workflows, hit me up. This is what I labeled it. To see the form submissions table, you have to publish your site. So, great point. So, you need to finish your website to be able to see this because, um, well, it has to be published and be ready for this right now. All right, so we're gonna go back to editor. Uh, so, once you do that, you can kind of finish it up and we'll go back and touch base on this uh, later when I'm explaining exactly how to publish your site and when we start to go on to the mobile site as well. Uh, so don't worry. So one moment. All right. Here we are back on our page. All right. And save my site. And yes, that's a great other point that I wanted to point out to you. So you can make it set so you are exactly not having to worry about saving uh, all by yourself because it's very important that you save your site frequently because if you do make any changes, uh, you can lose them if you lose internet access or if something happened, you just your, your screen crash or computer crash. Uh, you don't want to be in that position where you have to go back and do everything you did before. So try to set it where it's saved automatically for you. All right, going back to contact and forms. Uh, all right, we are already here with R1 contact. Wix forms. I'm going to highlight. I'm 
go back to the form settings. All right, and settings here again, the submission tables, the get a submission limit or deadline. So this is exactly if uh, they should do this with a certain amount of time uh, or have unlimited submissions, limit by number of submissions or limit by specific date and time, uh, the same. Uh, submit messages. So when visitors submit a form, you can have show success message, go to the side page or a light box, remember, so you can actually set that there. You can link an external URL, uh, so or another website, or you can show a link to file download. So if they do this and say, oh, submit, and I will give you this free download, that's what that is. Uh, so the message that you're, that they're asking about. Let's show the success message. This is it. Thanks for submitting. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for letting us know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Uh, so you can have a set time or always, right? So you can change that too. All right. That is the submit message. Now we have the payment. Accept payments on your form. Send visitors to check out and submit. So when they do that, they can actually pay, etc. Uh, or offer a single item or selection. Allow visitors to enter the price, whichever you would like. So all of these are going to be based on exactly what your site is uh, designed for. So what's the purpose of the site? If you are like a, a nonprofit organization, you just want donations to help for your cause, you're going to do that, and we're going to go over the other forms as well for donations. So that's for about payments. Conditions. Uh, you can customize this form based on visitors' answers. So create conditional roles, right? So you can create a role. Uh, select the field, so first name, email, and you can see it highlights right here on the form. You see how they're highlighting phone message, right? All right, uh, or not field, whichever. All right, this field then is this, 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 this and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You see how you can actually change this, right? Contacts. So you can save your submissions to your contacts, so that way you can reach back to them later. It just kind of helps you keep organized. Automations. So send a thank you email, uh, so it automatically do that once they submit. Create a new task so they can do something different, or that you can actually send them a chat message. Just create this chat message, and it's going to take us back to our dashboard, uh, as you will see. Give me just a moment to load. Automations. All right. So when the trigger is actually going to be when the visitor sets a form. Uh, to create an automated response, first choose an app so you can have price quotes, invoices, workflows, members area, whichever, right? Uh, so you can have this visitors. Trigger every time so they have a form that is submitted. In action, do this. Send a chat message. Get notified by email, right? You can even have them create a task, move card in a workflow, assign a badge members, and connect to a workbook. So you have multiple options here as well. Send notifications to separate emails with a comma, right? Email subjects, visitors with forms, and you can write your message right here, include details or trigger in the email. The same. Uh, and you will just hit activate. Right? And that's it. So we're going to go back. Any changes made to this automation won't be saved. That's okay. I'm going to discard the changes, right? And my automations, all right? So we can go back to the main menu, and this shows this. Do you remember seeing this before? And that's it. All right, so one moment, and we're going to go back. Mm -hmm. And here, when you click these three little buttons, you can watch a video, and that's actually going to help you too with automations. If you're not entirely sure, you can watch a demo version of it as well, troubleshooting, or you can let them know what you feel or how you think, right? I'm going to go back to edit site. All right, now here we are back to editing the site. All right, the contact form. Let's go back. I'm going to click and highlight. And let's go back to settings. Opening in our dashboard, submit message, payment, conditions, contacts, right? Uh, automations, email marketing. So create an email campaign. Really cool, awesome use, especially if you're trying to get more information out there. So you can send out newsletters uh, wherever you would like. So you can actually explore some more as well, uh, or you can create, or you can actually start from scratch 
if you would like. So send a newsletter, special offers, or promote uh, your business. So you can do this as well. And you have support. Uh, so when you come to support, if you, you can go directly to the support team or about Wix forms. It will give you a lot more information as well. Uh, so however you'd like. Now, coming back to the form. You can actually add a new field uh, if you want more information than this. Add a new field, contact fields, basic fields, right? This is just going for the text number field, radio buttons, checkbox field, multiple checkbox fields. So you can click and check, and like, hey, I like this, I like that, I don't like that, etc. A time field, a date, uh, a URL field, so you can actually put in the URL as well. And that is your basic fields. So contact fields, as you see, there's already a check. You can actually do a CAPTCHA if you would like. I don't think anybody really likes doing CAPTCHAs, but it does kind of weed out uh, any unnecessary information. Uh, let's see, phone number and country code we can add. All right, and that's it. Uh, going back to the advanced field. All right, so you can actually have a file upload field as well, uh, a signature field, and you have anti-spam as well, which is the CAPTCHA. Alright, that's adding the new field, so you can see actually the phone, the country code, etc. Alright, uh, add an element. Contact fields, basic fields the same. And the layout, you can change the layout if you'd like. The same for all other information as far as the strips go, as far as the text box, the boxes. All of that is the same form layout, it's just showing you the same. However, here it's just going to say show the field type. And you can just click and it will show the field type. Uh, and you can edit the spacing, you can do the text alignment as well, uh, however you would like. Uh, now the design, the same as all information, except it's going to have more designs for you that you can kind of follow along with. Right, so you can kind of just go over it, or you can customize your design if you don't like the templates that they have for you for the design. You can see that when I clicked on the template, it changed it just the text. Uh, input fields again, the submit buttons, Again, if you remember buttons, the borders, the corners, the shadow, the text, the fill and color, and the capacity, it's the same. Nothing changes from if you're changing the, ed the boxes, the audio or video, it's all going to uh, kind of come back. And that's why I recommend if you didn't catch some of them, kind of start back from our previous videos and it will give all of this information back to you exactly how to do this. So once you kind of, when you first go to the settings, like to design, uh, nothing really changes. Maybe the name or the task changes, but as far as borders, corners, shadows, text, all of that remains the same. So that helps you later on instead of having, oh man, a new design. I need to learn how to design this box. Not really. It's because as long as you know what you're doing, uh, as far as what this does, the shadow, uh, when you go to text box, the video, audio, etc., it's going to be the same and you understand, ah, okay, I did this for text, so now I'm doing this for the form box or the form, so now it's the same, I know what to expect. Uh, so nothing really changes. Of course, also mentioning to you the animation, the same for the form. How does the form pop up when you hover over it, or when, more importantly, when you actually load the page and it just kind of grabs your attention, right? Hey, fill out this form. Hello, guys. Uh, let's see, and you have all of them. And that's it. Forms are very simple. Uh, very easy, very fast. Now, I'm going to go back and let me just click. I want to delete this for the moment. Uh, we're going to go back to add. Now, when we go to add and we're going to go back down to forms. All right. Menu. Oh, oh, here we go. All right. Now, they're all the same. Nothing changes. It's just the name of it that changes. Donations, job applications. All it is is the same as like contact us. It's just uh, when you add the more fill in boxes. And it's just giving you more information with a different name, right? Like hit me up or uh, name or title. This is this is the only thing that changes here. Even to add a URL to direct you to a payment, it's the same. Uh, so the job application is the same. It all goes to your email, right? Health, right? You have the contest. If you're wanting to do the contest, I'm just going to drag and drop here the button. So this is why all of those are very important to go back into the other videos because now you know exactly what it is. If you don't like this button submit, you don't like the color, you don't like the word submit, you can change it. Same, you can even highlight it here 
submit button and change the button right here. So this is even how you can create your own form based from a box or a strip. Pretty cool, right? Uh, and the, the gender, you can ask more information, blah, 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 etc., etc. Uh, John Smith, email is John Smith at Google, Yahoo, MSN, whichever. That is the same. But if you don't like the design, that color, hey, that's an ugly color. Hey, I hate yellow in the background. I'm not a big Lakers fan. Okay, cool. That's fine. You can change all of this uh, here. Even if you like how the layout is, like, oh, well, that color, you just click on these and you can edit the field settings and you just go to design and you change the color. Simple as that. Uh, so you can even have not first name, yo name, however you want. You have it right here. So the templates are, I'm always telling you exactly that the templates are great to start because you don't have to start from scratch. You don't have to go through all of this. You can just change it as you go and kind of tweak it to how you want. Uh, so all the forms are basically the same. And I'm going to come back uh, to the contact and forms. Uh, Google Maps, uh, this is one important one to go over as well. I'm going to delete, come back. Google Maps, now love New York. And it's just a map based on your location. You need to manage locations and the settings as well. And that's it. Wix office, blah, blah, blah. Manage locations, and that's just going to pull this up. One, multiple locations. And you add your address, the title, Wix office, here for it's the description, what it's about, a link, again, uh, and that is it. Uh, settings. Show map on satellite view, show zoom control, show it so you're actually just monitoring if you want to show this or not, right? So you can have all of this. Show directions link, allow dragging, etc. You can zoom in closer if you want, zoom out. That is that is it. The design of your map. Map design. Choose a map design. Here you go again. This is all your choices with colors, how you want the water to show, the land, etc. Right? Uh, pen design. Do you like that pen? I don't. I'm going to go with an alien. I like the alien here. Or I like the crown or the castle. Here you go. You can choose a color. Ah, oh, that color is not too great. I'm going to go with black. I'm going to go with red, etc. You have custom colors and you can add to it right here. Uh, that is your map. You can stretch it to actually go to the whole side of the screen. And there you go. You see? And I'm going to stretch down just a little bit and make it bigger. Pretty cool, right? And you can do the margins as well if you like. You can kind of make that less. And that's your map. That is adding the forms, the maps, and the contact information, which is all the same. So pretty simple. Guys, again, that is all for today. But do hit subscribe and follow us for more tips and tricks to make your life much easier and make you that professional with Wix and to get started on your professional website. All right, guys. See you soon.